Hello and welcome to Shad's Voice, where I usually get a topic generator and talk about a topic until I can't anymore. And well, uh, some of them very interesting, and some of them might not come from a topic generator. Sometimes I'll think about it, or maybe once in a while I would get a request to talk about this one. As from a request, um, and you might know him. This one came from Muha, who I played a few games with, and you might know him from me playing like Phasmo and Back for Blood and several games with him, probably by now. Um, so his topic was. Corporate robots, which, yes, there's a reason why he wanted this one, and <laughs> it's an interesting thing, but we'll get into that in a little bit. For now, let's see if, I'm sure everybody heard the term corporate robot before, but let's see if Google has the actual definition. Um, that can be defined. Um, maybe not. Interesting. It actually does not seem to have an actual um definition. But okay, so then. Breaking it down to what people are going to understand. Uh, corporate robots, usually referring to people who do their job. And yes, it's good to do your job. But these certain people just seem to work and have like no other, technically, other personality. Kind of like a robot. They just do their job. And they don't seem to have a life. And they come back and do it all again. <laughs> um, why Muha wanted this Shad's voice on corporate robots, I guess, in a way, somewhere determining, like, how I was at my last job compared to now at my new one, which, as I said, I'm on my second job, work retail now, first one, waitressing, and it's just a living home. And what makes a person a corporate robot or not? Um... I don't think I've considered myself completely a corporate robot. Probably still would not. Um, I never... Like, I had feeling. Like, yes, I had to go to work, do my job, make money, live. That's basically how it goes. But I tried to not let my job or workplace run my life. It's kind of hard to say that considering working tends to almost be your life all the time. And it's a big part of your life. And unfortunately we can't get away with it or away from it as much as we want to sometimes. And it just sucks. But that technically doesn't make you a corporate robot. What makes you a corporate robot is like I said, if you go to your job, do your work, everything revolves around your work that you don't seem to have a personality as yourself. Like you don't seem to have any interests or care about family activities, stuff like that. It's kind of weird when somebody sort of almost acts like that. But I don't think I ever have. But I was kind of wondering if at my last job I was considered a corporate robot anyway because I was working myself to death 
And that could probably tie into it too. It's just like you work, work, work. And you're apparent you're not getting anything out of it. You're just working. <laughs> and robots don't get paid jack. And they're they like never climb up. So they just they're robots. They're made to work and they do what they're told. That sort of thing. Um I'm pretty sure what Muha's gonna want me to talk about. And sometimes I do wonder, but it's not to make fun of him or anything, because I love him to death. But probably the main topic of why Corporate Robot was him, and I talked to Muha about it before, because Muha knows how much I do care about him and I love him. Uh, My current boss. Kind of weird. Um... Trying to figure out, is he a corporate robot or not? And it seems like a good majority of the time, he is. He seems to only care about working, who's working, who's doing their job. And, uh, doesn't always seem to be pushing those who are not doing their job. I wish he would. And I know maybe sometimes he's trying. Not saying that's a bad thing or not. Uh, but sometimes I do know he's trying, but man, he sometimes pushes those who work a little harder, um, uh, than trying to get those who were slacking off to actually work. Questioning whether, me questioning whether he's a corporate robot or not, is, I know, he has sons of his own. He goes to, like, one of his sons, I think, is in hockey. He's talked about it before. He goes to hockey games. He, my boss is in the fantasy football and apparently is so good at it that he's won several bets. <laughs> I don't know anything about fantasy football, so I can't talk about that. But he has a personality. One of the things that threw me off. Okay, so re recently, but then maybe the last month, maybe it was already over a month, I don't even remember. Crazy. One of my co-workers passed away. It was actually the first one that I believe I've talked about before uh, on a separate video on uh, who trained me. The one who was deaf. It, sort of. And she was hard of hearing. So trying to learn from her was a little more difficult. But she was very nice. And her death came very sudden. Like, um, like very suddenly. Like, she worked, last worked on a Saturday. And I was there. And that Sunday which was also a big day for me because I also had a mental breakdown at work, but that not on the case of her, but that was before I learned and several other people, she passed away that Sunday night and we all went to her wake or funeral at different times. Different coworkers went at different times. I went to her funeral. Um, with several other co-workers, but I remember talking with my boss um, several days later. I don't remember how many days, but we were talking about her, and one of the things that tripped me up <laughs> was, and I get it, sometimes you don't actually know uh, you, the people you work with as well. I mean, you work with them, that's about as much as you can say. Sometimes you don't know them that well to be like, I don't know whether to be sad or not. And I get that. And by the way, this co-worker that passed away, I know I'm getting off topic. I drew a portrait of her and she's in my department now. Uh, on a canvas. And yeah, that was a thing I did. But, okay, one of the things that tripped me off with my 
trip me up with my boss when talking about him was one of the things he said was she was a good worker. And yeah, it's true. She was. He said she was nice and all, but when he, the thing that threw me off when he, was when he said she was a good worker. And I'm like, I didn't lose respect for him, but part of my brain was like, are you a robot? Are you, do you only see people as workers or, <laughs> and of course I'm not going to ask him about it, but one of the things is just, it makes me wonder, not saying it's a corporate robot situation or a robot situation in general. Like I said, I get it. Sometimes you don't know somebody as well and those you're closer to, you're going to uh, feel more for. And yeah, it just kind of tripped me up because I guess, I don't know. I can't say how he feels towards everybody. I know sometimes I've questioned, uh, like, what am I to him? <laughs> because it's like, I feel like, I don't know, I've want to be close to him uh, and I think he's awesome and like we share some good times and bad and we talk and but it's like man do you just see me as somebody who works <laughs> I don't know can't say um, it's just probably how he is but I don't know um so yeah, corporate robots, but I don't know. He's going more on the things that I heard and know of my boss. He, uh, since this is mainly revolving around him more than me, so this is like the, the difference between what I tried to not be and what I know he is, but at the same time, he might not be considered a corporate robot. Well... Yes, he's kind of a workaholic. He can't sit still or stay. And I've made a joke before, and it's true. He he walks very fast. Of course, he's tall. He has long legs, but he just like teleports almost what it seems like at how fast he walks. So, uh. He doesn't say very long. Like, you cannot sit there and have a conversation with him. I've tried. He's always trying to run away, as it seems, just to be going to do something. Or he's always busy. It's like, do you ever chill and sit down? It doesn't seem like that. Not with him. And I get it. And some people are like that. But it's like, calm down and rest for a second, get, dude. But... No, he's a go, go, go kind of person, which is kind of like a robot. But, yeah, not saying, like I said, not saying it's a corporate robot thing. Uh, with always having to work, I've he's been apparently working at my retail job where I'm at for over 21 years now. Um, that I've learned. So he started pretty young, and who knows when he's going to retire. I hope it's not too soon. I mean, it's like, man, I <laughs> stay here as long as I'm kind of here situation. But at the same time, it's like, why are you still here? Or what? He's like working himself to death, and I don't know. I don't think even though he is pretty above us, naturally, but not, there's still people above him. He doesn't seem to want to climb that corporate ladder to be more, like, higher up. He's kind of happy where he is, I think. I hope he is. And that's okay. Uh, but it's like, He's still, everything seems to be revolving around his job. 
which I know I've heard him talk about, like, oh, cer certain things to certain people, like, you're going to get me fired. It's like, I'm sitting here like, dude, they're not going to fire you. <laughs> You've been here forever. And I don't know. It's just how he is, and that's kind of how I accepted him. But like I said, that thing that really most tripped me up in talking about this with Muha is like that when he said, about my co-worker that passed away, our co-worker that passed away, uh, was it was a good worker, and that was like the first thing he said. And it's like, oh man. <laughs> but, I don't know. Not shaming my boss. I'm telling you, he's awesome. He really is. I just, maybe sometimes he just doesn't know what to think. And... That's fine, I guess. I mean, it's different for everyone. But that will do it on corporate robots. Hopefully, you know, I. if you want to be a corporate robot, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, go, go for it. But if you're taking it from me, don't work yourself to death. Uh, enjoy your days off. Try to enjoy your days off. Don't go into work on your days off. Also hinting at that with my boss. He's done that plenty of times. <laughs> um, don't easily like go into work on your days off. Don't let them convince you. You need your rest. You need to be away from work sometimes. Take your vacation days. To use your PTO. Don't feel bad if you're sick and can't go into work. Sometimes, unless you're doing it a lot, then it's, well, obviously if you're sick a lot, you can't help that. But if we're calling in a lot for, like, no reason, that's another issue. Um, otherwise, yeah, corporate robots, if you listen to this, and I hope you enjoyed it, thank you, I will see you in the next one.